finding parts, subtraction. We've already learned we can add or multiply parts together to figure out a whole. We've done some adding. 8 eggs plus 4 eggs is 12 eggs. Gravity's head plus gravity's legs plus gravity's body is the whole gravity. What about the opposite? Ways to find a missing part. If I know what the whole thing is and one of the parts, I can use subtraction to find that other missing part. Whole minus part equals part. Both ideas are there at the same time. Early understanding of subtraction is the idea of taking away. Take away a part from the whole, and you've got a part left. 12 minus 4 equals 8. Here's another example. The Mary Ellen Carter Academy is going to show a movie. There were 30 folding chairs in the back of the bike trailer. Marco and Shano unloaded 20 of them. How many are left? We could count them, we could also subtract. The whole bunch of chairs is 30, the part they unloaded is 20, the other part left on the trailer is 10. 30 minus 20 equals 10. The parts and holes are still there, it's just two ways of describing that same amount. 30 chairs in all, 20 unloaded, 10 still on the trailer. Same chairs. And if you're subtracting, it has to be chairs minus chairs. Another example. They started the movie with 30 dishes of popcorn. People bought 21 of them. Good for raising money. How many did Clara and Mark eat or give to the birds so they wouldn't go to waste? After we take away the part they sold from the hole, they have nine bowls of popcorn left. Here are those number ideas on a number line. 30 minus 21 equals 9. The whole is 30. The parts are 21. And then we figured out the 9. There's more to subtraction. Finding out how much more to get to a whole and comparing two amounts. But let's practice some takeaway and then keep learning. The legal stuff.